with a quick video on solving rational equations with your TI Inspire cast. Okay, so here we are in the main screen. And all I want you to do is this. I want you to go to your home screen, right? Go down to the choices at the bottom and hit salt and hit calculator. Let me show you that again. You're here, right? The home screen. It brings you here. Choose this one at the bottom. Here, and then we're going to use that solve function that I've been trying to teach you guys for the last couple days. So hopefully you're getting good at this. I like this question a lot uh, because this one, if you try to solve this by hand, you're going to get an answer, but it's going to be a wrong answer. You're going to get an extraneous solution. So this is not going to give you that extraneous solution. So these are rational functions. So we want to create a rational by hitting control division. And then I'm just going to type it in, which is 5x, which is 5x over x minus 2. I have my caps lock on. Sorry, you guys. And then what I want to do is use my right cursor here to get to the middle of that. Because if you move over from the denominator, it's going to give you some weird answer. So we have that. It's going to be equal to 7 plus, whoops, sorry, plus, just again, control division to create a rational, right? And it's going to be 10x. And I use my down cursor here, the red one, over x minus 2. And remember, again, hit the right cursor, comma, x. That means our argument is in terms of x. And then we're going to get a solution. That's because I put the... <laughs> that sucks. Okay, so this is a solution to this problem. This is not the problem I meant to write, but that's all right. We'll use this anyway. Um, let me do this. It gives me a chance to show you something anyway. If you hit this control and cover this with your cursor, you can hit you can hit control C. And if you hit control C, what you did is you just made a copy of it. Then use your down cursor till you get to here where I am now and hit control V, exactly like you would on your computer. Now the reason that I'm showing you this is because otherwise you have, I'd have to retype this whole thing. I made a mistake when I put this equation in, and my mistake is right there. I didn't mean to put an x there. I shouldn't have put an x there. So I can take that x away. So there it is. Now I have this edited equation, and I can hit enter. And now that's what I expected to get false. Then if you see, if you try, if you multiply this whole thing by x minus two all the way across. At some point, you get 5x equals 7 is equal to 7x minus 4, and you get x is equal to 2, but x can't equal 2, as you can see from the bottom here. x can't equal 2. So if you're wondering why I didn't just re-edit this equation from the top up here, because you can't, because you already have an answer to it, but you can make a new copy of it and then put that version down here and then edit it from down here. All right? Look, you guys, I hope this was really helpful. I'm trying to keep these videos to like three or four minutes, just quick videos for you to figure this stuff out. But if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Um, thanks for the support. Oh, subscribe, please.